Hey guys, so I am back with a monthly plan with me for the month of February. And I'm just going to sh quickly show y'all the kits I'll be using for the month and then planning out um, what I can of the monthly spread. So for the first week of February, I'm going to be using this micro kit from Cricut Paper Co. It is the Emma kit and um, it just has four full boxes, four half boxes, checklist, four quarter boxes, a weekend banner, and some canceled stickers. Um, of all of the kits for the month, this one is the one that might change depending on um, what I end up doing, but I really like this kit because I thought it'd be really good for the transition week from the blue of January to the pink of February because obviously this kit has both colors. So I thought it would be a really good transition. For the next week of February, I'll be using this, um, it's actually not a kit, it's just one sheet from a kit from uh, 4x6, and it is the Birthday Girl kit. I got this in a grab bag, and um, it's just full boxes and some quarter boxes, and I'm going to be pulling in a lot of uh, extra stuff this week, um, mainly black, pink, um, maybe some of this tan color. Uh, it's going to be a different week because I haven't really done anything like this. Um, I do it all the time when I'm doing kind of plan as I go style. But when it comes to like planning for school, I normally have a kit that has a bit more in it. So um, this kit isn't in her shop so I wasn't able to pick up more to kind of supplement. But um, this week is actually a collab. So um, this kit won't be changing. I will be using this one. And um, so y'all look out for that collaboration on Instagram. It'll be a lot of fun. The next week in February is the actual week of Valentine's Day. And I'll be using this kit from Wild Sunshine Co. Um, I've actually had this kit for a really long time. I think I bought it back in the summer. And I thought I had lost it for a little bit. Because it got um, stuck to the back of another sheet of um, like another kit. So I couldn't find this kit for a couple months and I was kind of panicked because I had bought it for Valentine's Day like seven months in advance. So um, this one is also a little different compared to what I normally use. It is a, um, I think this is, she sells her kits a la carte and I just bought what I needed. Um, this is the full box sheet with a um, weekly ombre and it looks like little washi strips down here at the bottom. And then a functional page with checklist, icons, um, weekend banner, half boxes, um, and habit trackers. I'm really excited to use this kit. I love the little pug. And the weekend banner is probably my favorite part because that's just adorable. Alright, so the next kit I'm using, um, I think this is the last week in February, the last full week of February. This is also a collaboration um spread i'll be doing and this one will be different because we'll be trading planning styles and we're pretty different in how we plan so i think this is going to be really exciting i bought um this kit and like one other um and then let her choose which kit um to use for that week and she chose this one this is actually a halloween kit <laughs> um but i i I think it would work just fine for Valentine's Day or like February because I don't think the black cats scream, you know, Halloween. So um, this kit is from Wild Summer Designs. It's a mini kit. It came with um, some deco, glitter headers, full boxes. Um, this is kind of a functional page with headers and things like that and sidebar things. Um, half boxes, checklist, um, icons, and then the bottom washi. So clearly this kit's really full for how I plan in the school year. So I'll be breaking it up and using it uh, only half of it. I also have some date covers and this uh, functional add-on sheet, which I haven't gotten before. Um, I don't remember why I bought this to go with it I I think I might have needed like m one more dollar or so to reach the limit for the coupon code so I might have just thrown this in there but um, this will be the kit I'll be using for the end of February so 
y'all keep an eye out for that collaboration will be here on YouTube and on Instagram so yeah okay so now we're to the um, February monthly and I'm just gonna show y'all quickly what I'll be using I use, I'm using this Erin Condren sticker sheet it's the um, little cat print that she has and I just customized the colors to be like gray and purple if you want these specific colors I can go in and look just ask me in the comments and I'll go check my account but I don't know the exact names of these colors I'll be using that a couple of um, random sheets to kind of supplement and um, I wanted to show y'all these I'll be using for the rest of the year to mark the month because I do cover this up um, this was a custom order from Nightingale Paper Co and she was really great working with me and um, getting these made for me and they're super cute and they're they're perfect um, you can see back in January it turned out really well so um, I just wanted to show you all that so definitely check out her shop um, links to everything will be down below so I just start out by putting the larger strips of washi at the top um, I turned the planner um, upside down to y'all so um, I could put it down easier because of that little flag that's at the top right of the planner I have to line up the sticker flush with the edge of the planner page so it's kind of difficult to do I don't have to do it on the left side um, I just try to get as close to the edge as possible but um, I don't like that flag just peeking out because um, the pink didn't really go with the purple theme I was going for here so then I put down my um, month sticker from Nightingale Paper Co That's, I, it looks so good I'm so happy that I had these done she did such a good job um, it just, it looks so good. So, now I'm just putting the washi down at the top. This washi is from the kit, and I pulled in a gold foiled washi on the sidebar and a simply gilded bow washi in gray. Um, I placed it underneath the little paw print washi. Um, so I just trimmed the right side down, and I set that, um, little little bit of washi off to the side because I do end up using it in the spread to cover up a holiday um, President's Day actually so I actually do pull that in so it's good to save little tidbits like that while you're uh, trimming stickers so now I am just um, I think I rolled out the gold glitter tape just to compare which ones look better and I ended up going with the gray Simply Gilded Washi because I think it's really cute. So, I sort of wish I went for a more traditional Valentine's Day kit, but um, I really like the purple and I really like the cats. And I love cats, so I would say my cat is one of my Valentines, so I guess it fits just fine. And now I'm just taking and making a little header with some gold glitter or some gold foil tape I tried to use any sort of leftover um, glitter headers for my sidebar like I did back in January but I actually didn't have any leftover purples so it was kind of weird so I just um, used the tape instead I cut down that checklist down to four dots to have one for each week of the month to mark which kit I'll be using and then I put a planner sticker from Taipei Planning over the top of the header. Then I just divide it again for my to-do list. And that is all I do on the sidebar for now. So next I go in with a do flag from Nightingale Paper Co. This is the smaller size. I think this is what she sells in her shop. I also have some larger ones I got in a grab bag or maybe vice versa. I'm not sure. Um, and she might not sell either in her shop anymore. I don't know. But I just pulled a gray one and put that down. And then this sticky note sticker is from Peel Pandemonium. And it is to mark a class I have that doesn't meet every week necessarily. It's And it's not really every other week that we have a schedule. But it's not like set in stone, you know, every week we meet. So I like to keep up with that. These little pencil stickers are from Sticky Fingers Co. And these are to mark any of my meetings, which I already forgot one, so I need to go back in and mark that. Um, 
any coupon codes I have for any of these shops will be down below in the description. So if you want to check out any of them, you can. I put down another do flag and then I should pull in that little bit of washi that I had left over from the kit to mark President's Day, I think. Yep. So I just mark President, or I cover it up and then I put a pill pandemonium little laptop sticker to mark my one year anniversary on YouTube that is happening in February. I put a full box down on the sidebar and that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and um, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already.